All right, let's do a word problem. Melissa had $125. She spent two-fifths of the money and saved the rest. How much money did she save? Well, first we're going to find out what fraction of the money is saved. And to do that, we just take one and subtract the fraction spent. And we get three-fifths. Now, if you remember when you're subtracting, when you have a fraction, five-fifths is the same as one. So five minus two is three. We've got our common denominators and we've got three-fifths. Now we multiply the fraction saved by the total amount of money, which is $125. And when we're multiplying fractions, we multiply across the top and we multiply across the bottom. Well, in this case, we can simplify before we multiply by dividing this bottom by five, which gives us one, and the top by five, which gives us 25. And then we multiply across the top, three times 25 equals 75. Multiplying across the bottom is one times one is one, so we don't need to write that down. So the answer is, how much did she save? $75. Now, there are other ways to do this. Another way is to figure out the amount of money spent first. We do that by multiplying the, amount, the fraction spent by the total amount of money. And again, we'll simplify first and then multiply across the top, which gives us 50. We only have one on the bottom, so we don't need to write that down. So this is the amount spent. And we can subtract that from the total amount of money to give us the amount that was sa saved, which is $75. Now there's actually a third way to do this, and this is using our bar graph, which I will do a very crooked one right here. We're going to um, separate the bar graph into five units because that's what our denominator is. That's the amount of pieces our fr that her money was um, broken into. She spent two out of those five units. All five units is equal to the $125. We'll just write that over here. We want to find out how much one unit is by dividing the 125 by five. Another way we can do that is take the 125 and multiply it by one-fifth. And again, like before, we simplify. This gives us 25 on top and one on the bottom. Multiply across the top and that gives us 25. So it's $25 per unit, no matter how you divide it. And since she saved three units worth, we multiply that by three to give us the total amount saved, which is $75.